it going everyone? This is Paddy Prowlock and it is the preview for the game on Wednesday night between Newcastle United against Aston Villa, which will be a six o'clock kickoff at St James's Park. And this game will also be broadcasted live on BT Sport as well. So we came off the back of that fantastic 3-0 win at home against Sheffield United. What a way to restart the season. Absolutely brilliant. And Aston Villa came off the back of a 2-1 home defeat to Chelsea that took the lead but conceded two goals in a space of two minutes. Oh, that's definitely not very good, that like. Absolutely not. So, how do we go into this game on Wednesday night? I think the victory against Sheffield United on Sunday will be a massive confidence boost for her. And we can use that and take it into this game against Villa on Wednesday. And it's also a game we should be getting three points out of as well. Definitely. Aston Villa, they're sitting second bottom in the league. They're absolutely trying to fight for their lives to try and stay in the Premier League for next season. It's not looking very good for them so far. But um, I think we can look at that and thinking this should be a three points for us. Uh, on Wednesday night, definitely. So, yeah. In terms of injuries, I've heard no one apparently came off injured uh, after the Sheffield United game, which is very good to see. I'm still not sure what's happening with the likes of Matt E and Sean Longstaff and also Florian, Florian Lejeune, who were missing uh, for the game on Sunday. But we'll just wait and see when uh, Steve Bruce gives his press confidence and see if they are fit enough to return for the game on Wednesday night. So we'll just wait and see when Bruce gives his press conference on that, which will probably be tomorrow, most likely, you would say. So, yeah, definitely. In terms of Aston Villa, they do have some really good players in their squad. They do have players like Jack Grealish, Conor Hurahan, John McGuinn, Douglas Louise as well. So they have got some really good players that can cause opposition teams problems. They do have, uh, they do concede a lot of goals as well, absolutely, definitely, as well, which is probably the most disadvantage point uh, as well. So, yeah, and that's why they're sitting second bottom of the league table uh, as well. But just don't think we're going to go into this game and absolutely steamroll it, steamroll it, definitely not. Because, yet again, it could come back to bite, we're definitely. But I am feeling confident we can go and get another three points on Wednesday night. It is definitely a game that we should be getting three points out of it. No excuses whatsoever. And I just hope that 3-0 win on Sunday against Sheffield United would be a massive boost for it. it definitely. So we'll get into the predicted lineup of what Bruce will probably go with on Wednesday night. And I don't think he should change any of it whatsoever. It worked on Sunday. And it'd be absolutely silly if he went and changed it. A lot of people will say, but well, we've got Manchester City in the cup on Sunday. Yes, we do. But what is that also a saying of? Why change a winning team? It's as simple as that. So there we go into the predicted lineup. In goal, Martin Dubravka. Obvious choice. He is our best goalkeeper. And he'll definitely be continuing in there. So... There you go. Goalkeeper Martin Dubravka. Of course, into the back four, first of all. Right back, Javi Mankio. And I think he will definitely continue in that spot. He's done very well lately so far. And I think he will definitely keep his star position in that place. Left back spot, Danny Rose. He did start the game off a bit shaky, I thought, against Sheffield United. But I thought he was growing more into the game, definitely. And he's only the only natural left back. Well, I've only got it this moment of time because Paul Dummett cannot play for the rest of the season, unfortunately. So left-back position, Danny Rose. Into the two centre-backs, first of all, captain Jamal Sells, And alongside him, Federico Fernandez, And them two were very solid on Sunday. And hopefully we can see more of that again, particularly on Wednesday night, definitely. The need to be on their guard, definitely. And look out for where Villa's main threat comes from. Uh, definitely, yes. Into the midfield roles, first of all, into the two centre midfielders. First of all, John Joe Shelby. And alongside him, Isaac Hayden. And them two have been of an impressive centre midfield partnership recently. And 
I think that'll definitely continue at this moment of time. In both the left and right positions now, because you can see on Sunday, particularly in the second half, Yaksha Ritchie playing on the left and you had St. Maximum playing on the right. So, yeah, so in both either positions, it will be Ritchie and Alan St. Maximum to play in them roles. In the number 10 role, Miguel Almiron, I think he should have scored on Sunday. He had that good chance, which he fired straight at Dean Henderson. But he has improved a lot lately and he's playing in his natural position as well, which is what we really want to see from him and make that runs again forward, definitely, yes. And up front as the striker, Joe Linton, hopefully the goal he scored on Sunday will be a massive confidence boost for him. And hopefully there'll be more goals to come from him, definitely. And we can see the Joe Linton we really want to see since we paid the money for him. So let's hopefully we can see that from him. So that is my predicted lineup. I've kept it the same. As I said, no need to definitely change it at all whatsoever. Score prediction. Ho, ho, ho. I think we'll definitely get another win. And I'm going to go for 3-0 Newcastle. Oh, yes, I'm being very optimistic indeed. Absolutely, yes. Uh, as you see, Villa, they are struggling, definitely. And I think we will get goals in this game, definitely. Absolutely. So I'm going to go for a 3-0 Newcastle United home victory. So that is my score prediction. As you can see, I did do my predicted lineup and how we'll go at this game as well. So let me know in the comments section of how we go at this game, your predicted lineup and your score prediction as well. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like, a comment. And if you haven't checked me out before, Please make sure you do hit the subscribe button. Until quick thoughts and review, I shall catch us all later. Take care of yourself. Bring on Wednesday and hopefully another three points.